Catherine. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the Gymnastics, gymnastics girls. girls. And today we're going to be doing sort of like a talking video. We're just gonna tell you guys some tips on how to start a gymnastics YouTube channel. Like if you guys are just starting to make a gymnastics channel or you want to, we're just gonna tell you like how we started, what you need to know, um, like what things you might need to have, and yeah. all that stuff. <laughs> so we haven't been up this long. We've almost, we almost been up for two years. Yeah. Which I guess it's pretty long, but yeah. yeah. And we're just gonna tell you guys like how we do. We're not experts, but we're just telling yeah. you what we know so far. Well, yeah. our experience so far. Yeah. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is equipment. If you really want to show how to do stuff on multiple events, you could have um, a beam and bar also, but we just have a tumbling mat, which is sort of like the main thing you're gonna need, mm -hmm. especially if you're doing like at home stuff. The tumbling mat is great. I have a low beam. We just haven't used that yeah, in videos yet. Uh, you might also want to have a trampoline. Yeah, like, that, helps. that that would be great. And this like grass. Yeah. If you have grass, yeah. and like a yoga mat maybe. And you don't actually have to go buy a tumbling mat if you can't. You just use whatever you have. Like mostly you just use grass. It's like yeah, yeah. The most grass is tool. fine. You can put like a towel on yeah. top or something. If you're enrolled in a gymnastics class, you know, like you don't want to be teaching people the stuff. wrong way. Yeah, the wrong way. You know, most of our tips, it's from what we learned, but from our coaches. it's from our coaches. Unless it's something like really simple, like how to do a cartwheel. Like unless mm -hmm. you're you don't know how to do a cartwheel at all, you could probably figure out how to do it. Yeah. Like we didn't even have to ask anyone how to do cartwheel. Uh -uh. We just know how to do yeah, it. Yeah, just like from our experience. Like other stuff, like let's say a back walkover or something, you wanna know like the correct way to do it. And make sure you have your information correct. Or like even search it up online because you don't wanna give them the wrong information because they could hurt themselves and it could yeah. be like your fault. Yeah. So yeah. If you don't know then like search it up or you research about it, okay? Yeah. So if you guys have seen like some of our previous videos, you would notice that we film in our gym sometimes. If your gym doesn't let you like film, if it doesn't have open gym, <coughs> then like you just can't do it. But like our gym, it doesn't have open gym. We have to like pay. We do private lessons. And that's why we don't go there a lot. Mean. If we filmed there a lot, we would have to pay every single time. So that's why we only go there every so often. Yeah. So if you want to film at a gym, just you could go find one that has open gym or you can just Make the most of your time if you get to do like a private lesson like we do try to use your time wisely So that you can make as many videos as possible <coughs> That's why if our videos about our gym are not like the greatest and we don't have time to do all yeah of it. It's, Yeah, we have like one hour is a lot of money. So we have to like change Really quick yeah and do, do videos video. and it's like really hard because sometimes our battery doesn't last and It's, yeah. it's yeah. hard you have to be prepared when you go there. Yeah If you're gonna do a channel with multiple people like us, and if you're not related, you might want to let them know to bring multiple pairs of clothing. Yes, that's what we do. Because <laughs> you are not gonna be able to film one video every single day because you can't get together that often. Yeah, and it's, it's the hardest thing ever to get together. I know. Very hard. <laughs> like, for example, today it was pretty hard. Like, yeah. we had to go pick up Sarah, and like, I. I was barely not even gonna go. So you want to make sure that you film as many videos as you can in one day. Yeah. The most we've gotten up to in like a sleepover 10. was like ten. If you can sleep over, cause that way you film that day, you come and then you sleep over. You wake up really early. This is what we do. Yeah, we yeah. woke up at like five. Really last early, time. and then you go do as much video as you can. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did, and we didn't have to like see each other for like. Two months maybe. Yeah. But if you're going to do that, make sure you're not rushing your videos. Mm -hmm. You still want them to be you good quality, be good. but you don't want to like, you know, rush the videos so much that it's like messy. If you can tell our earlier videos, we rush a lot. Yeah. And we did like eight videos. We fit eight videos in like one day we used to do. But if yeah. you can tell our videos were really rushed. And today, like we had like a lot of, we filmed like for like, like nine hours and we only got yeah. like five videos. We're trying to do more like, yeah. Try to do it like better and better. Like even if it takes longer, it's fine. Just yeah. be and get better quality. Another tip is you might like, like want to have a group chat to talk about everything like you're gonna do in the next videos. Like yeah. plan out your videos before yeah. the actual filming day because it's just, yeah. you know, it's a good Thinking thing to do. Thinking of videos, it takes really long. Yeah, it takes a I long know. time for us, especially if we're doing like skits. 
Okay, now moving on to cameras. So if you don't have the best cameras, my advice to you is just hold it still. If you're using a phone, you're gonna wanna take it sideways because yeah, it would don't be do it. really bad if you're doing it It'll vertical. Be boxed. So if you can like ask any of your family members if they have cameras, then you can like try to use those. And if you don't have a tripod, just manage with what you have. Like if you have you can stack up like books a or stool, something. if you have a stool to set it on or something, just don't shake the camera around and try to yeah, cut sure. your videos, like cut out all the unnecessary yeah. parts. That goes on with like editing apps and stuff. Like you wanna make sure you get good stuff. If you're filming like on an iPhone or something, you can use like Splice or iMovie. I know you can like edit with that stuff. And then if you have a computer, there's many different softwares you can use. Mm -hmm. Like when we started out, our quality <coughs> wasn't that great. But then uh, over time, we started getting like better quality because and we, started getting we switched new cameras our cameras. And stuff. If it's a windy day and you're filming, so the cameras have a microphone on them and if, the, if it's windy, it's gonna sound like and yeah. you're not gonna be able to hear anything. So if you're gonna be talking while it's windy outside, you're probably gonna wanna wait for the wind to stop and then you can start talking because it sounds so bad when it's Or you can yeah. do a voice over if you can. Or you can do a voice yeah. but, but if you make can't, sure you get out the sound. If you yeah. can't, then you just have to wait for the wind. Yeah, and that also yeah. goes with like planes, like if they're passing by or birds, cars, you yeah, know, birds. motorcycles, anything. anything like that. Uh, make sure you speak clearly and loudly because yeah. sometimes your viewers can't hear. So you just wanna make sure you're clear about everything you say. When you're editing, if your camera doesn't have like a good microphone and you're talking but it sounds really quiet, just try to like do as much voice enhancing that you can to make it sound clearer. Because if you leave it like that, it's gonna just sound so quiet and you're not gonna be able to hear anything. And sometimes when you talk too loud, it'll be like, too much. Yeah, it'd be like, oh. Like, if you're doing a video, don't put the music too loud. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna be able to hear anything. Yeah, yeah and if you like, bad. you know how people put music in the background. Don't put it too loud because they won't be able volume. to hear anything, and it just like ruin. Like, you, if, why would you even talk yeah. if you have loud music? <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know how to use the editing software yet, you'll probably just like search up things, uh, like ask for help for people who know about the software, and then it'll just you'll just start <coughs> progressing. Like when we first started, like editing was not easy. Yeah. Ever. But now it's like, she boom, can do it like it's her man. job. Like, <laughs> boom. Another tip is lighting. So, our best advice is daylight. Just try to film as early as possible and end as late as possible, but don't end too late or else it'll get dark. Yeah, like for example, our Simon Says Gymnastics Challenge. Oh my god. It was like really light in the beginning, then it started to get dark. And so you wanna make sure you have really good lighting. Like right now, we're not using daylight because it was raining and it's like cloudy. You have a light on right now. If you're gonna use a light yeah. bulb, use an LED light because if you use regular lights, it's gonna look yellow yeah. and Watch it's gonna show. look really If you are planning on doing YouTube for a long time, you might consider getting paid on YouTube. You shouldn't just do YouTube just for the money. Yeah, no, you should do, do it for fun. Like, it's really great to like make great friends. I wasn't that good friends with them. Now, like we're best friends. Yeah. So you just right. do it for the fun. Don't do it for like money or anything. Yeah. The last thing that we are going to tell you is your thumbnails. Oh yeah. Thumbnails are like the most <coughs> important part of YouTube. If you don't know what thumbnail is, it's a little picture that you see, and, and then, then it says video. the title. Yeah. So okay, you might want to add text on your thumbnails because if you just choose one of the scenes from the video, people are not gonna be able to tell what the video actually is based yeah, so on like one scene. And make sure the scenes are about the video. Yeah. And like put, you can make like collages with them. Yeah, you can make a collage. And one more thing, reply nicely to the comments. <coughs> yeah, if you're doing YouTube, do not Cause yeah. arguments in the nah. comment section because yeah. you will, we're gonna get more haters if you do that. People will think that you're like being mean to your comments yeah. and stuff. If they're like, being haters, just ignore them. Ignore it. Because just we try heads up too. Like, if you're making videos for hate, just don't make videos. If don't. you're making videos to judge people or anything like that, like yeah. I know it's like you've yeah. never seen probably a video like that, but there are videos out yeah. there. That would be horrible. Just don't do that. Do it for fun. Do it yeah. for like. Do for it to your hang out. For yeah. you, like you want to have fun with this. Yeah. So if you're gonna make a video, try not to copy other people. People mm -hmm. always think that we copy the two gymnastics too. One person said seven gymnastics girls, another person said everyday gymnastics. Every day. We uh, what? Okay. Try to think of your own videos. Recently yeah. we've been coming up with our own ideas and yeah. it's just so much better than using one of theirs because then we won't get comments. As much hate. Yeah. yeah. And even if we do get a video idea from them, we give them credit. Yeah. So 
If you do I'm take a video idea honestly, from someone, give them credit. Making a gymnastics channel is not that easy. Guys, yeah, it's, it's not, not. There's don't. not that many ideas out there. Do something that you love doing. If you yeah. like cheer, do cheer. If you like gymnastics, do gymnastics. If you like fitness, do fitness. Yeah, do whatever yoga, you want. Anything. We started yeah. like doing healthy Ranch snacks. Like yeah, you can yoga expand. And stuff like that. It doesn't have to be all Yeah, gymnastics. you can expand what you're doing because <coughs> gymnastics is just one thing, but it's kind of hard to do a lot of videos about gymnastics. So we can kind of like expand yeah and our all videos. this stuff kind of has to do with gymnastics like fitness you want to be strong for gymnastics yeah you want to eat healthy for gymnastics just have fun with it guys have fun youtube good is luck fun. if you're starting good it. luck we wish you the yeah. best of luck and we hope we it was a hang of it if you now. don't get if you don't have it right now you'll get the hang yeah, of it yeah. and just have fun mostly and if the subscribers don't come at first the more you grow your channel like the more subscribers you'll yeah. get well we'll see you guys in our next video and don't forget to comment like and subscribe yeah, Bye!